What's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I want to talk about Fubo TV stock because there's a lot of talk right now about a potential short squeeze. Now I did talk about this about three weeks ago when the short interest for float shares was about 40%, which don't get me wrong, is still incredibly high. However, that has gone up dramatically and I want to talk about that in today's video. So the format for today's video is going to look like this. First, why was Fubo TV stock up 24% and what size position do I personally have in them already? Second, what is the actual short position on them because it is one of the most shorted stocks right now. Third, we'll get into some of the catalysts that I believe are fueling the potential short squeeze. And then I'll be ending the video with just some of my final thoughts on the whole situation. So if you guys feel like you get some value from this, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel because I will be giving you guys updates as the situation evolves and if we see a short squeeze. So Fubo TV stock closed out the day up 24% at $52.40 a share. In aftermarket trading, it's only down about 1%. So overall, a massive day for anybody who's been holding the stock prior to today. Now, Fubo TV stock saw this massive pump after Wedbush analyst Michael Pachter boosted his price target by 25% going from $40 to $50 a share, citing that the positive pre-release of Q4 earnings combined with the advancement of their integrated sportsbook and cash infusion from convertible debt could propel the stock much higher. Now remember those reasons because that was one of my points from the short squeeze video I made a couple weeks ago and I will be touching on it again when we get to the two potential catalyst segment. Now personally I have 100 shares at an average cost of $30.90, meaning I'm up just about 70% of my position already. So obviously I'll be holding this whether or not we see a short squeeze. So now that we've covered what happened today and why they were up so big, let's get into the actual short position and some of the catalysts that I believe could push the stock much higher, forcing shorts to cover their shares. So according to highshortinterest.com, they currently show 71.91% of float being shorted and everyone's most trusted source, Yahoo Finance, also shows 72.74% of float being shorted as of two weeks ago. Now on average, companies may see anywhere from five, 10, maybe 15% of their float being shorted, but to see 72%, means that there is a massive short presence in this stock, which could lead to a massive short squeeze. So the first catalyst that I could see leading to a short squeeze is just the straight up fact that short sellers are being hunted by retail investors right now. I'm pretty sure that 99.9% .9 of you guys watching this have heard about what happened to GameStop. So I'm not gonna get into exactly what happened because there's tons of videos out there. All you gotta do is just search GME on YouTube and you'll have hundreds of hours of content to watch. Now, Thanks to GameStop's successful mission to planet gains, every retail investor is looking for the next big short squeeze. And I believe this could be one of the biggest catalysts in Fubo's favor. If you just Google Fubo short interest, you can see that several articles pop up claiming that they have the next GameStop short squeeze. Plus articles talking about the most shorted stocks all have Fubo at the top of their list. And that's just simply because there is in fact a ridiculous short position in this company. So for all the people on Wall Street Bets looking for the next short squeeze, Fubo is consistently going to be shown to them. Now, on top of just doing Google searches, Twitter is also popping with talk about a Fubo TV short squeeze. I mean, just look at some of the tweets and engagement from followers. Fubo is gaining a lot of attention as the second or third most shorted stock behind GameStop. So just the hype alone and media attention that Fubo TV is getting as a possible short squeeze candidate could bring in a ton of new investors who may have missed the GameStop gains and are looking for the next big short squeeze. Now, the second catalyst is the fact that Fubo TV stock has already released preliminary Q4 results and they are far exceeding original expectations. You have Q4 revenue of about $95 million, which would represent 80% growth year over year versus the 80 to 85 million that was originally expected. Then you also have the number of subscribers growing to 545,000, which is way more than the 500,000 that they previously got for and is also good for 72% growth year over year. Then on top of the strong Q4 growth, you also have the cash infusion, which adds another $350 million to the balance sheet and the recent acquisition of Victory, which will accelerate the development of their integrated sports book. So there's a lot of good news coming out, which is why I don't really understand why it's so heavily shorted right now. So looking at everything that I talked about, you have retail investors going big game hunting, looking for the most shorted stocks, which of course, Fubo is 
always gonna be at the top three of that list no matter where you go. Then you have the internet and social media all promoting that Fubo TV is a top three shorted stock, which is only gonna fuel that fire. And finally, you have the catalyst that Fubo TV is actually doing better than was originally expected, plus they're getting a good bump from Wedbush analysts raising their price targets. So if we see a couple more days like today where the stock goes up 20 plus percent, then I could definitely see a scenario where we see a short squeeze and short sellers are forced to cover their positions, which means they have to buy more stock, which means the stock price goes higher. So it's definitely something to keep an eye on. And me personally, I will be holding my shares because I'm already up almost 70%. So there's no reason for me to buy more or sell my shares. Now, if we see a scenario where the valuation begins to get really stretched out, then maybe I'll sell because I've already made pretty good money on it. But I will let you guys know when that happens. So be sure to subscribe if you're not, because like I said, I will be updating you guys on the situation as things progress. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I will catch you on the next one.